Making an investment decision, it's a very complicated job. You need to factor in a lot of information. And today, we live in information abundance. Over the last two years, we produce 90% of the information that we have today. So this trend is not stopping anytime soon. Why does it make sense to talk about artificial intelligence today in investing? Artificial intelligence can work very well where there is a rising complexity and where you need to connect you know, very distant dots, where you need to find information hidden in the noise, which is the typical case of the financial markets. Where it can be used, it can be used both to create portfolios or to enhance the strategic and tactical asset allocation. Over the last year, the financial industry has been evolving very, very rapidly. And nowadays, to compete, you need to move even faster. Artificial intelligence is bringing us into the assistant decision-making era, and that requires a lot of special specialization. This is what has led the rise of open innovation, in which fintech companies can focus on develop the technology and then partner up with institutional players to support them in developing solutions which are more tailored and adaptive for the clients, whilst at the same time shorten massively the time to market. This is why it's truly a win-win situation for the both of them. Explainability is a non-negotiable aspect. You can achieve explainability through the use of artificial intelligence by working at two dy dynamics. The first one is at the technology level and the other one is in, within internal processes. For example, us, when we developed our technology, Alice, our technology has not been developed as one big brain, you could say. But it's a series of chain where the input is not necessarily connected st straight away with the output. But it's actually a chain, a series of inputs and outputs that are ultimately connect uh, together to create the final decision. This allows every time to go back and track what are the drivers behind every decision. At the same time, you need, you need to work within your internal processes. In our technology team, which is made of more than 40 people, nowadays mostly physicists and engineers, we focused especially on dividing two teams, R&D, which comes up with new idea, creates the models, enhances them, and mission control team, which every day monitors on how the models are behaving and if they're working properly. Now, this uh, almost duet between the two of them, mission controls and R&D, creates a process in which everything that gets developed is further, there's a further effort into making sure that everything is understandable and trackable. This enhances the overall process to make sure that truly when we say something, we can always track back. And that's the only way on which you can really rely on a technology. What the last years has told us is that artificial intelligence and technology are here to stay. This industry is undergoing a massive change, which is driven by, on one side, an increased complexity, and on the other side, a lower marginality. We all know that when that's the case, technology usually is the only answer able to cope with these dynamics. And this is something that it's not just in Europe, but it's perceived across our client base, from the Nordics to UK to the US. It's really a phenomenon that it's at a global scale. Now, the, how this is going to shape, it's going to happen in two directions. On one side is towards facing the client. This is something that happened already years ago with the digitalization. Okay, and look, might look mature, but there is still a lot of room and work to be done. On the other side, especially thanks to artificial intelligence, it's what we call assisted decision making. And that's where it's going to create a lot of uh, adaptability and uh, uh, flexibility around making an investment decision. All of this combined is going to allow the process to be more efficient and ultimately drive the industry into becoming more adaptive, technological and tailor-made for the final client.